that ferment the rice water. And you put it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge, guys, so that it don't go off. So that smell doesn't get worse than what it already is. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, I am Lauren. Thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified as to when I upload videos for you guys to enjoy. So in today's video, it will be all about the rice water challenge. So I know recently I started seeing that the rice water challenge is trending here in South Africa or just in the round and about. I do know a few years back, um, I think it was 2018 when I started and tried the rice water challenge while I was still in my transitioning phase and as you guys know I went through or if you don't know I went through some horrible things with regards to the rice water challenge. I'm just here to educate you guys about the truth about the rice water challenge. So here we go. So for those who don't know the background story. Um, fermented rice water are used for ancients of time already <laughs> they are used by the Yao woman um, you guys can do some more research about that as well it's a ancient Chinese recipe that is used for hair growth and for healthy hair and so forth so what fermented rice water actually is is you taking pure water like your purified still water whatever and your rice preferably organic rice but i see you guys using your mommy's brown rice your pick and pay no name rice and all that other types of rice but it's fine there's no judgment over here <laughs> use your rice it's okay but anyway um okay preferably your pure water and your um, organic rice and then you put that in a jar or whatever and then you let it you leave it in that water for about a day or two so that is just like the basics and the baseline that's the first thing what fermented rice water actually is it's just leaving what um leaving your rice in the water for a long period of time so that it can ferment and all of those things so basically like I said, for those who don't know, previously I did the rice water challenge and I didn't know that my hair was protein sensitive. So here's number one guys, if your hair is protein sensitive, try your best not to do the rice water challenge. Personal experience and I've also seen other people's comments and statuses and people doing videos and, and whatever about those who have low porosity and protein sensitive or whatever. They would agree that rice water is not the best thing for our hair. So if you have low porosity, protein sensitive hair, be careful. Um, what rice water did to my hair? I didn't know anything about my hair while I was transitioning and it messed up my hair completely. I put rice water on my hair daily. Um, I would wash my hair with rice water. I did everything with rice water and basically it ruined my hair because I experienced protein overload and protein overload is not a nice thing. It makes your hair straw, like straw like feeling, stringy. It's really not a nice feeling because it's difficult to reverse it and get your hair back to normal and into its original state. It's a very difficult thing to do. There are solutions and I tried that salt reversal solution or whatever. It worked to a certain extent but it affected my hair so badly that my hair came out in clumps and things and I ended up doing my big chop. So guys, be careful when doing the rice water challenge. I do know, yes, I do know that while transitioning and doing the rice water challenge, my hair grew. I'm not gonna lie. My hair grew. I've, I've watched many videos of people whose hair grew and it helped with the shedding and whatever. And yes, it helped those people. There are people that have real results. But I'm not saying that rice water is a bad thing. Just I'm just warning you to be careful as to how you use rice water how you do the rice water challenge or how you incorporate rice water into your hair care routine. So I will be sharing more about the rice water. So basically, I know there are two ways that people can make rice water. 
So you can take your rice, you add it to your water and you boil it. And you then strain the water, you strain your rice and the water that you get, that you use for your fermented or for your rice water to do whatever you want to with, it regarding, with regards to your hair. I will now explain the different methods of how you can apply it to your hair. Then, number two is, like I mentioned before, you take your water, your pure water, your rice, you leave it in a jar for a day or two and then use that water on your hair, the fermented rice water. I know that you can add your peppermint oils, you can add your tree, oil, your tea tree oils, I know you can add your rosemary oils, whatever, just so because of that smell. Yes, rice water comes with a smell and the longer you leave it out, the longer it's going to smell. So the longer you let the water ferment or the longer you do that process, it will smell. So it's best that after a day or after two days that you take that to stop that whole process of getting it to be stinky, you know, that bad. Yo, it smells so horrible. I don't even, I can't explain. I, I really can't explain, but it's horrible. You take that water, that rice, that fermented rice water, and you put it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge, guys, so that it don't go off. So that smell doesn't get worse than what it already is. Put it in the fridge. Okay, put it in the fridge. Just, just do it. Just put it in the fridge. If you want it to last, put it in the fridge. No? So, yeah. <laughs> Next, I'll be talking about the different ways that you can use it on your hair. So, you can take your rice water and you can either use it as a rinse out. So, basically, you, you put it in a spray bottle. Um, you know, your normal spray bottle, your water bottle. In your spray bottle and then and then you spray it all over your hair on your scalp everything your hair your scalp and you massage it in and all of that and then you rinse it out so that is called a rinse out <laughs> you can use it as a rinse out method another method that you can do I know that some people do they put it in their water bottle and they spray it on their scalp every night. They spray it on their scalp and, you know, whatever. And it will be like a daily thing that they do. And then, yeah. So from the end, you can do it as a leave-in. But not as a leave-in, leave-in, but as a leave-in with your deep conditioner. So you put it on your hair and you mix it with your deep conditioner. And you leave it on your hair for 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes more. And you wash it out. So that's also part of a rinse out. So there are various methods as to how to do this your hair. So guys, if you really, really, really want to do this challenge. And you really, really want to experience the benefits and whatever of rice water. And you have no porosity. I would say, don't do it. <laughs> but... The best thing that I've learned, that I've, I've read reviews on and with, with regards to people have low porosity, they try this, they take it, they do it as a rinse out. So they take the fermented rice water and they put it on their scalp and not really on the hair, but on their scalp. But if they want to, they put it on the hair. They leave it in at least for two minutes and then they rinse it out and they do a deep conditioner afterwards. So it must be a deep treatment conditioner. We use a moisturizing conditioner, not a conditioner and deep conditioner that has any form or sort of protein in it. It must be a deep treatment conditioner that's for moisturizing your hair. If you want to, you can mix it. So you take your water, your rice water, and you mix it with your moisturizing deep conditioner and you leave it on your hair at least for five minutes, at least just five minutes and then take it out. Or I wouldn't suggest you guys doing it longer because you don't know how sensitive your hair is to protein. So that's why I say rather try not to do it than to do it. But 
for those who don't have low porosity and for those who say love protein like by all means you guys can do the rice water challenge you guys can do the rice water because of all the protein that this rice water would give your hair your hair would love it basically and yes there are so many benefits with regards to this rice water people stop shedding like the hair they don't experience so much shedding especially if you're experiencing a lot and a lot of shedding and alopecia and those things rice water is known to to help solve those problems also rice water really gives your hair the health that it needs with regards to giving it the protein that it needs it gives your hair shine and especially the favorite rice water really helps people's hair to grow like it will help people with hair growth so i know if you're really really struggling with hair growth and you want your hair to grow this is what rice water is really known for with regards to the hair growth benefits that it has so as you guys can see you guys can do research and more on it youtube this rice water thing is everywhere you can see personal experiences and you can also research um, to you can also read up on actual research with regards to rice water and yes it has so many benefits and i'm not against rice water like if i could use rice water i would because of all the benefits that it will have for my hair and my scalp and everything else but guys just be careful when doing these things and trying out new diys and trying out what you see on the internet and what's trending and all of that stuff just be careful that's the only thing that i want to say i'm just here to educate you guys on my personal experiences with regards to rice water anyway guys hope you enjoyed that that is just my five cents with regards to rice water if there's still any sort of uncertainty let me know down below in the comment section ask me questions ask me anything with regards to the rice water challenge i will be more than willing to assist you guys as best that i can don't forget to like to share subscribe tell your neighbor <laughs> tell your other neighbor also to be careful when they're doing this rice water challenge guys it has benefits but if the hair is protein sensitive it's gonna be more of a it's not gonna be beneficial at the end of the day to put it out there just to say it as it is so basically guys thank you so much for watching let me know down below if there's anything you want me to review ask me anything comment like share subscribe thank you so much guys for watching bye Oh, oh, oh.